Hey, what's up guys? It's Sam from BSG Tech and uh, today's video is about uh, uh, facing an issue uh, with your Dell laptop uh, machines uh, and you see uh, this warning sign on uh, boot up screen uh, the battery cannot be identified the system will be unable to charge the battery uh, strike F1 key uh, to continue F2 to run the set utility Quickly, I will tell you what caused this problem. Actually, there are three reasons. The first one is uh, the, the BIOS settings needs to be updated. Second one is uh, it could be a bad charger, faulty charger. Or the third one is uh, it could be a battery issue uh, which need a replacement in order to run the machine. So we will continue on F1. And before uh, I explain this to you, uh, I will show you what is the possible cause. So let this machine boot up and uh, uh, from the main screen we will look at the battery indicator if uh, there is some sort of message coming in that the battery is being charged or if there is any percentage issue or if the battery health is not good. I can show you from here and then as you can see that the machine is booted up and we have the battery plugged in with the main source as you can see. The battery percentage shows 255% which is terribly wrong uh, in order to update the BIOS settings. For that you need to go on to the Dell website which you can uh, see on my screen. It's a Dell support and then you can go into the drivers and downloads section. In this segment uh, if your laptop is up to date uh, with all the latest updates from Windows uh, this page will automatically de uh, detect that uh, the hardware specification and it will take you there and once you are here you can click on this section and when you land on this page you have different tags here overview diagnostic drivers and downloads documentation so you have to go into the drivers and downloads and uh, from here with the subcategories you can uh, uh, click on the BIOS and then you can go down and you can just key leave it uh, check to all as you can see that uh, this PC and uh, there is a Dell Inspiron uh, these models uh, of BIOS uh, flashable file which requires download when you click on the download it will be downloaded and you can go into the download section and click on the run utility once you hit this uh, you'll be taken over to the flashing page and uh, this message will pop up the AC adapter and the battery must be plugged in before uh, the system BIOS uh, can be flashed and if you click on OK it should flash but uh, it seems that uh, there is an issue with the battery health and uh, in order to flash this file the system needs uh, at least uh, a certain percentage of battery life on your machine and even though it's plugged in with the mains it will not help uh, uh, it will not help you update uh, uh, the flash file actually so as soon as uh, if I unplug the machine it will shut down so in my opinion this is best basically uh, a bad battery of this machine uh, it's not a charger I have tried changing the charger as well so we will simply unplug this battery and we will put this brand new battery which we have recently ordered from uh, Amazon uh, why Amazon because uh, there are quality products available on Amazon if you compare it with eBay yes you might find it cheaper but uh, uh, the better products are always available with the user reviews which you can check before you buy them so now we will turn this machine on and uh, we will uh, go back to the same process why we have to do the same flashing for BIOS upgrade is uh, basically we, sh we don't want to see that error coming in uh, in coming days or weeks or months so that is recommended that even you change the battery you always keep your machine updated and if there is any pending flash uh, required you can always flash that up uh, guys remember there could be a bad battery there could be a BIOS settings which has been disturbed by some reason or it could be a bad charger so it has to be one of these three things uh, let's go back to the same page where we ended up recently and uh, we will flash uh, this file in order to make sure that uh, the system's BIOS is updated and we don't see this battery indicator in coming weeks or months as you can see that uh, the system has detected confirmed replaced 
this BIOS settings. Although it's already flashed, but it's still asking for a replace A16 BIOS settings with A16 BIOS. We'll click OK and then we will click on reboot. Guys, remember if you have any data on your C drive, which is the main directory of your uh, machine, you should always, always, always save that on an external drive or USB or whatever you have in order to keep your data safe and protected. Uh, as you can see that the bar is running quickly and the process will complete quickly and uh, it will reboot. Uh, the BIOS flash utility will complete it in the next couple of seconds. Depending on the machine's physical hardware, uh, you can use this process on older machines with Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. Uh, and even if you are using uh, uh, the Windows XP in some cases, yes, you can uh, pro use this process on Windows XP as well, although it's all obsolete up to Windows 7. So guys, this is how you can fix your problem uh, with regard to the faulty battery or the battery cannot be charged. So we, and as you can see, we have a battery indicator which shows that it's 64% of it remaining. And uh, this is how you can uh, fix this problem. Subscribe to my channel guys. And if this video has helped you out in any way, don't forget to share. Uh, and hit the bell notification so you get all the upcoming notifications. Stay tuned. Take good care of yourself. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.